peeps and welcome to a new video here on my channel and welcome to the new year 2020 the year of possibilities <laughs> i am so excited to start filming again i've taken like a week or two weeks off just because it's been new year's christmas all that you guys know and also after vlogmas i was dead <laughs> but i am back and i'm so excited to start the new year with videos and also soon when i'm moving i'm so excited to create more content there i'm thinking i will do more like homey videos a lot more about food and stuff like that and just like hanging around and also you guys will follow me getting a little baby <laughs> dog a dog you guys will follow me around when um when i'm doing all of that however that will go <laughs> i'm not really sure uh but yes i am actually off in like two hours so i don't have that much time today but i am thinking that i will do a get ready with me i will just a get ready but i will do it with my favorite products of 2019. so these are the products that have stood out to me the most in uh, the last year and uh yeah let's go somebody gonna get your man i think i lost in my dm what <laughs> i as you guys know don't love primers it's not really been a thing that i do every single day like it's a crime to not not to prime whatever nikki tutorial says like for me no usually it just makes my skin look worse but this is the primer that I have been loving so, so much. This is the NYX Professional Makeup Honey Do Me Up. I feel like this is not as primary as some others, which is what I love about it. I feel like it's almost like a skincare um, last step of some sort, but it just gives me so much glow. And I do feel like my foundations and the base looks better when I am using this. It has a little bit of a gold reflexes on it, in it. <laughs> so I think that is why. So yeah, if I would recommend any primer, I would recommend that one. Then for foundation, I mean, this is hard. <laughs> Oh no. I have been loving a lot of foundation this year. <laughs> so you guys probably know if you follow my vlogmas and stuff like that, I got a new foundation favorite in December. But I can't say that I've been loving it the entire year. But the one that I have been loving is the Hourglass Stick Foundation. That looks like this. I did try it in the beginning of the year and I didn't like it. But now I love it. <laughs> it might be because it is very, very moisturizing. For those of you that have dry skin, I would really, really recommend this one. But maybe during the summer when I tried this out, I'm not really sure when I did. It might be that it was summer and hot and it just didn't add great to my skin. But now during the winter, my skin needs it. My skin is very uh, oily and um, combinational. So during the summer, I need something mattifying. But during the winter, I'm obsessed with this. But I do have a few favorites <laughs> more. And all of these are more to the moisturizing side. I just really like the glowy look. And I don't love a foundation that should mattify your skin so much that it looks dry, you know. I usually go for a moisturizing foundation and then just powder where I need it. But one of my other foundation favorites are the Milk Flex foundation it is not as moisturizing as the hourglass one but it just looks amazing i've never had it i've never used it and didn't love how it looked and yes i do have another stick foundation favorite this is from mulak and it is the uh, slay the game full coverage foundation i could compare these two almost like it's the same but also maybe not i'm not really sure i just love them so so much i want to say i feel like this is a lot of favorites for our foundation and i'm you guys might not even be interested in it but 2019 had so many good foundations so here are just the last two you guys know i've been obsessed with the peach perfect uh foundation and then also the bounce foundation from beauty blender although i hate the applicator of this it's the worst but the foundation in itself is really good 
But for today, I'm gonna go in with the Hourglass foundation as I've been really loving it. But luckily, I only have one favorite concealer and that is the Tarte Shape Tape. This is just the best concealer. Like it's been my favorite for I think like two years now. It's been my staple and I haven't tried anything that is as good as this. And I don't even wanna look for anything else because like, it just gives me everything that I need in a concealer. Just to chit chat a little bit, I am actually really pissed right now. <laughs> that is because you guys know that I said in my latest video that I am about to move into my new apartment on the 1st of February. February 1st is a Saturday and uh, we just heard that we cannot move in there then because we have to wait until the weekend is over which really sucks so now we have to move on the third which is a monday which means nobody can really help us because people are working and also jonah's birthday is on the 2nd of february so uh, it's just a lot and i just really want to move now <laughs> i have a countdown on my phone let's see what it says in 24 days and i mean that's not a lot <laughs> it is very soon but i just really wanted to move as soon as possible okay next one is the bronzers or the contours and the things that have really stood out to me this year haven't really been a contour of some sort i haven't really contoured that much this year i have more bronzed and what i've done the most of all things is use cream product. I've been loving these two products so, so much and I can't really decide which ones I like the most. It's very different. We have first the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer in Baked and this is a matte bronzer, as I said. It just works for everything and I've been using this lately the most. But then in the beginning of the year, I did love the Honey Bronze Universal Bronzing Balm from the body shop so so much but this is obviously like a shimmery bronzer i wanted to add both of them because i love them equally but they're a little bit different and then i just have to add this brush from anastasia beverly hills it is the a30 and it's been the only brush that i've used for this cream product and it's just the absolute absolute best it just blends it out without no problem at all. Let's go in with a little bit of this as well. Just for a little bit more glow. And then for blush, you guys know I love blush. <laughs> and you guys have seen that the Milk Makeup Blush in Work, this is the lip and cheek cream thingy, is like my favorite thing ever. I think that I could use this every single day and be happy. <laughs> but I have had two other favorites this year and that has been the Lime Crime Software Blush in Wi-Fi. Also a cream blush and this is more like a orangey one. And then I've been also loving the Tarte Sunny Side. It's like a more brownish one. And I don't know if you guys saw but this work one is like more of a curly pink i've been using this so much lately like every single day so i'm actually gonna go in with the lime crime one every one of you guys should know what kind of powder i am going to <laughs> show you guys now because i've been using it only like i've been using so many powders but there's just no other as the nabla close-up powder i use it every single day or every single Time I do my makeup. It is just the absolute best powder in the entire world. And that's just that. Time for highlight and the only two that has stood out are these two. Because these two products are like the only <laughs> highlighters that actually look like highlighter and not just glitter. These look like you have like water on you and it's so amazing. First off, I have the Pixi Glowy Glossomere Duo in Delicate Dew. This is really, really nice, but I haven't used it that much. Oh my God. I'm gonna take that back. I don't like that highlighter anymore. 
I'm not gonna think about my table situation right now, but uh, I'm just gonna move on. The other favorites is the Nabla Skin Glazing in Ozone. And this is the one that I'm gonna use today because it is my favorite one ever. And this is more like a champagne shade, which the other ones aren't. So you guys, it is a new year and I need inspiration on what I should film. Let me know in the comment section, please, what you would like me to do. Is there any new products that you want me to try out? I am getting the new Anastasia palette uh, tomorrow, I think, actually. So I might do a video on that if you guys are interested. Or are you, like, not <laughs> interested at all? Also, I do want to know what kind of brands you want me to do, uh, like, clothing hauls with and stuff like that. I am going to do more like a thrifting haul kind of series, I'm thinking. I am open for suggestions and there we go. Now the highlighting is done. Something that I've never really done before, which I've been obsessed of doing, is using um, face mists. I've always used them, but not this much. <laughs> like I use it so much. And I feel like that really brings out the glow that I've been having lately. And I feel like this could also be a little bit interesting about the two um, favorite face mists that I've been loving lately are the NYX Professional Makeup Bear With Me and then the Linda Halberg Glow Mist. This one though, be careful with it because it's like oil in a bottle. <laughs> so I always get like gross hair when I use this, if I don't do this. So I'm just gonna let this all dry a little bit, but for brows, the things that have really stood out this year, I think, I think this came last year though, or like the 2018, right? But the Kat Von D 24 hour super brow in these different shades. I've been so obsessed with these. I do think that some other brow pomades are easier to use and stuff like that but it's just the color range that is amazing for me that have weird colors i'm just so happy that this exists so i have to give them a little shout out these three products are the ones that have really stood out to me first we have the busy gal brows from tarte i really really love this one as it has such a fine little tip it's amazing. And then it is the Bishy Brow products from Lime Crime. This is also a very, very fine tip, but a little bit longer. That has a little bit of fiber. And then this amazing little brush that you can create brow hairs with. There we go. Brows are done. And I must say, I'm very happy with this brow, right? So for favorite eyeshadow palettes, I think kind of hard because I use so many of them so differently but here are at least the ones that i have been loving the most and used the most i feel like first of all we have the blue blood from Yefri star cosmetics these are just so pretty i just love looking at them i love opening them 2019 i think it was the year of blue for me <laughs> i use blue eyeshadow so so much and i i mean my hair is I don't know if I could say it's blue, but it was blue. Like the Blue Monday, Deceased, Blue Blood. I've just been really, really loving this. Then this next one, I feel like a lot of you guys might be a little bit confused about. That is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture. This palette got so much hate and I am so sorry, Subculture. I love you. I think that these shades are the grunches the most amazing shades and as you guys can see I have used this a bunch and I do know that the shades are very powdery but I don't mind I love it it's great pigment and 
I love sub subculture. <laughs> sorry about it, not sorry about it. This next one I did want to show as well, even though it's quite new and I haven't used it that much. If I made my own eyeshadow palette, like these are the shades that I would go for. So it is the uh, volume three of the uh, Norvina palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I mean, it has the red, it has the yellow, it has the lime green. It has a little blue there, it has a yellow, it has a hot pink. I mean, what else could I wish for? I'm so in love with this one. When we're talking eyeshadow and um, anything eye related, I did want to add this eye primer that I've been obsessed with this year. I think it's so, so good and it is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Then for my favorite glitters, <laughs> I have to add, this first one is Glisten from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I think this is only sold in a little kit and I hope it's not limited edition for Christmas. If it is, I'm so sorry about it. I've used this so much lately. I did use it first time in December though during a vlogmas but it's just the best glitter ever I'm so happy that I have it <laughs> and then it is also from Anastasia Beverly Hills the uh, dimension loose glitter as you guys can see it is stars here and then for stars I also have the gypsy shrine this is a huge as you guys can see glitter bottle these are so much fun I also have this one in um, just like normal glitter. And then I wasn't sure which kind of eyeliner I should show here because I haven't really had a new favorite. I love the one from Fenty, I love the one from Nabla, but I do think that these two are like the ones that I could really pick to stand out a little bit. And first off, it is the, the Body Shop Star Stamp Liner. You know I am obsessed with this. In one of the ends it has a super amazing eyeliner and then it has a star stamp but then the eyeliner that i would say is the absolute best eyeliner of all time it is the nyx professional makeup epic ink liner this is drugstore this is so affordable this costs like nothing by the way this is like the uh, limited edition one but it's just the exact same it's just it's just perfect <laughs> and uh, it's the cheapest one that i have so and there we go, lashes are on. And this is actually one of my new favorite lashes. It is from the... What? <laughs> it is from Depend Cosmetics and it's called Marcel. Actually, one of my friends and a influencer here in Sweden created these lashes with Depend and I am really obsessed with them. I love them so much. But other than that, obviously Coco from Russian Rogue um, are also my most used lash ever. <laughs> the pretty much only mascara that has stood out to me has been the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir. Let's add a little bit of mascara. And now for lips. I felt like this was really hard. I've been pretty much loving the same kind of lipsticks. This year I haven't really had a new brand or something that had just come out and blew my mind. But I would say that the lip glosses, the lip glosses were easy, honestly. <laughs> the Fenty Beauty lip glosses have been my absolute favorite ones ever <laughs> it's just the absolute best and this is yeah it's the same brand it is also from Fenty Beauty these are the liquid or what are they even called Stunna lip paints they don't have that many shades I should go and get some new ones I do know that they have a really nice purple one that I really 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 want but I just feel like the a black one is a true black there's no other better black it's just the blackest of the blackest if that makes sense and then the red one that they have is just the most amazing red there's no better red than this and then they have some other shades that are really really nice they have a really dark brown one that i really love and i just love how they feel on the lips so i think that i need to give the best liquid lipstick to fenty beauty should we have black lips today there we go the look is done <laughs> i also added some individual lashes these ones are from swede i thought it was really cute i also added some more blush but i think it look cute e-girl who <laughs> sorry that is it for me all of these products have 
really changed my makeup game 2019. I love them all so much. Let me know if you have like any New Year's resolutions or goals this year. I would actually myself love to just write some of my goals down, but I can't really like, just like so excited and like a little bit too stressed now before the move i think so i can't really come up with anything i just want to live in a new apartment and i want a dog and then i can come up with some new goals yeah i'm just really excited about 2020 and i hope that you guys are too and feel like you get like a little bit of a fresh start a new year isn't really anything special but it's just it's nice to think that you can start over pretty much. So I hope that you guys also got some new, maybe some uh, things that you wanted to try or something. I will have all of the products linked down below. Now I have to get going. So <laughs> I hope you guys have an amazing day today. I hope that we will see each other in the next video. So be sure to subscribe if you have not already. And that is it for me. Bye guys.